Welcome to the demo of the iOS XR Embedded Packet Tracer. I'm your host, Alexander Vidakovic. I'm a technical leader in Cisco Engineering. Wouldn't it be nice to identify the exact path that the flow is taking to your network? Or even better, if for some reason it's taking deviation from the expected path, or in the worst case scenario, it's getting dropped somewhere in the middle of your core. This type of issues is typically very difficult to triage because of the very complex frame structure that you may have in this scenario, uh, your encapsulated Ethernet frame may be buried under a higher number of MPLS uh, labels and maybe even a pseudo-wire control word. To address exactly this kind of scenarios, we have developed the ISXR Embedded Packet Tracer framework, which is currently supported on ASR 9K routers, but it will also be supported soon on some other interesting XR platforms. To show you a demo, I'm selecting a much simpler topology. We are going to run pings from the ASR 9K BNG device on the left-hand side, all the way to the server on the right hand side of the diagram. We are going to enable packet tracing on interface 100GIG0506 on the core top router. We expect obviously packets to re be received on that interface and we expect to see those packets leaving the router on interface 100GIG0500. The Ethernet frame format that we expect to receive on uh, the interface is the following. We expect to see first the Ethernet uh, header followed by two MPLS headers followed by a pseudo wire control word followed by the encapsulated Ethernet uh, header, and then the IPv4 header. And we are going to identify our, our flow by selecting specific fields inside the encapsulated IPv4 header. To match these kind of flows, we have selected the most flexible method uh, of uh, selecting a flow simply by identifying an offset value mask. You don't have to care about the protocol stack or types of the packets in the, in the stack. You can simply express your flow of interest using this very simple representation. So while that is a very flexible way to identify a flow, you might be asking yourself how can you actually derive the position uh, and the actual value and the mask for a destination IPv, IPv4 address buried so deep inside the encapsulated uh, header, uh, encapsulation frame. To that end, we have developed a very simple application where you can simply draw your frame of interest. So I've selected first the Ethernet uh, header, then followed by two MPLS header, followed by pseudo wire control word, another Ethernet header, and then our IPv4 header. I want to match specific fields in the IPv4 header, so I'm going to click on the checkbox uh, next to it. And here I will first select protocol number one, which is uh, ICMP, and then the destination IP address 192.168.77.4. Simply by clicking on submit, I can see what are the offset value mask triplets that correspond to IP protocol number one and to destination IP address that I have already uh, chosen. So let's see, let's see how this works. We are going to first clear any packet trace uh, counters. We are going to clear any uh, packet trace conditions. And now let's define our conditions. So first thing that we want to define is the interface on which we expect to receive the packets uh, from the network. And that will be our packet trace condition interface 100 gig 0506. The second thing is to define the offset value mask. That will be packet trace condition number one. I'll take the first condition from the application. Then I'm going to take also the second condition from the application. Let's see what have we defined so far. So we can see what are the buffer conditions and we can see that the status of the packet tracer is inactive. So now let's start the tracing. And let's run our pings. So this is, as you recall, our destination IP address 192.168.77.4. Let's run 1000 pings. And let's see what are our results. Show packet trace results. There you go. What you can see here is that on line code 0 slash 5, NP3, which owns the interface 100 gig 0506, has received 1000 packets from the interface and marked them for tracing through the router. You can see that the interface on which these packets were received was 100 gig 0506. You can see that the very same NP has sent 1000 packets to the fabric. NP0, which controls the interface 100 gig 05, has received from the fabric the exact same number of 1000 packets, and then it has sent 1000 packets out of the interface 100 gig 0500. 
now you might be wondering whether I'm actually tracing all the frames that are going through this uh, uh, pseudo wire. So let's try a ping to another destination behind the same uh, P device 192.168.77.3. Uh, so let's run these 1000 pings. Let's check our counters and you can see that they haven't moved. So we are really capable of, spec of uh, following a flow which is identified by fields that we have selected in deep inside the encapsulation, uh, encapsulation frame. I hope you have liked the demo. Thank you for watching. You can read a lot more about the packet tracer in the tutorial that is available on XRDocs.io. You can you'll find there on the, in the tutorial the introduction, uh, how to work with the packet tracer, all the commands that you want to use, and there are also some very good examples of how to use the application to derive the packet trace condition, and also some use cases that you will also recognize that we are doing on one that is very similar to our demo. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this.